I'm here at the workshop, and I've got a decent number of these Ryobi tools. Currently, they've succumbed to flat surface syndrome. Uh, and in my workshop, I don't have a ton of flat surfaces. So in this video, I'll show you how I go about cleaning something like this up with 3D printing and take it from this to this. Ooh, ah. My first idea for this project was to essentially just use the standard Ryobi battery connection. It's pretty secure and holds the tool very well. If I was able to just copy the geometry from this battery and somehow connect it to a surface, I think that would probably work as a pretty good mounting system. Unfortunately, CAD is pretty boring to make a video on, so I'm just gonna speed through this section here. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial, just let me know. Now that I'm finished with the CAD design, I'll walk you through some of the features. So these bosses here and here are to stabilize the battery. Uh, these are directly copied from the battery geometry. Basically, if you try to twist the tool, it can disengage this snap fit here, and these help prevent that. This post takes some of the load, especially if this is mounted sideways, this hanging orientation. The tool's weight will actually get picked up by this post and not seen too much by this snap fit. The snap fit itself, the geometry is copied directly from the battery. It should work, it's in the correct place and everything. One thing that I'm trying that I'm not sure if it's gonna work uh, is this snap fit connection. The original battery uses what I believe is a compression spring. Uh, and these are obviously two separate components or several separate components here. But building this, my original plan was to use the spring and basically exactly copy this. But when I jumped into CAD, uh, I had the thought of Maybe I could use the plastic itself. Uh, and if I can have a part that you know pops off of the build plate and is just ready to go, that's awesome. So I'm going to try this and see if it works, and hopefully I can roll with it. If not, I'll go back and uh, add a compression spring, and there's, there's plenty of room under here to make that all work. But with this design, I think I'm ready to uh, print out this CAD model and see if it works. Yes, we did get a bamboo, and yes, it is as good as people say it is. Uh, just a reminder of how this guy works, you can put it on any surface that you want to attach your Ryobi components to. It's got some wood hole screws so you can actually secure it uh, mechanically to something. This post here gives some rigidity. These features help just center it on the tool. And then I've got these little flex fingers here which mimic how the battery works. The battery has some flex fingers. I basically just copy that geometry and I'm trying to use the springiness of the 3D print to accomplish that. So here's the final test. It seems to work pretty well. Take it apart. Nice. I made it this height so that clips and some of the accessories uh, have clearance. I wanted to make it so yeah, you could use all your tools as is. All right, so the final test is to see if it actually works. Right about here. Perfect. Now to see if it comes out. So it's secure. No complaints there. Now to do the rest of them. And this is so much better. Nice flat area to get some work done on. 3D printable files will be available on my website. Links in the description. If you want to purchase physical parts from me, I'll have those also available on my website. And I'll keep the project open source. So if there's any tweaks that you want to make, feel free. If you have any questions, don't be a stranger. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. See you on the next project. Bye.